Welcome friends to the new video of Power Plant Guru. In this video, we will understand a very important concept for gas turbine, which is what is TNR and what is TNH. This is related to loading and deloading of turbine with uh, how their speeds are changing and how the fuel is getting regulated. So let's understand the topic in next uh, section so friends uh, i am a mechanical engineer having 20 years of experience in power plant operation maintenance and technical services so i keep creating a small fundamental videos for gas turbine steam turbine boilers vop etc so if you like and follow the content please subscribe to my channel So here in this video, we will talk about basic systems of a power plant where the gas turbine is the main uh, equipment. So we uh, the next uh, topic, which is TNR, uh, TNR and TNH, there we are going to talk about uh, for the control system, how control system acts and regulate the speed and load required for the machine. So as we know, in a gas turbine, very few inputs are required, uh, like uh, fuel, which is maybe gas or natural gas or uh, liquid fuel like HSD, naphtha, etc. And air is extracted from the atmosphere. So these are the only two inputs which we need. And output is load, how much load you want on machine. And uh, another is exhaust gas, which may be considered as uh, byproduct also. But yes, exhaust temperature we because we use in HRSG to generate steam. So this is a kind of output also. So let us first understand what is TNR and what is TNH. So TNR is turbine speed reference and TNH is actual speed. So these are the literal meanings, but uh, I will describe in a very simple words uh, to understand. Let's say uh, we are riding a bicycle at a constant speed. Let's say we want to maintain 10 km per hour speed and we are riding at a constant speed. That is our objective to ride at a 10 km per hour. But let's say there is a sudden weight placed on your bicycle so what will happen your bicycle speed would slow down if you are putting the same force or you are exerting the same force as previous because the load is increased on the bicycle so speed is reduced similarly Let's say that weight is there on your bicycle and you are riding a bicycle at 10 km per hour speed. And let's say someone lift that weight from your bicycle. So what will happen with the same amount of effort, your bicycle speed would increase. So the same phenomena happens with the loading and deloading of a gas turbine as well. But as we know that you have to continue with the very same speed because we are connected to the grid we cannot increase or decrease our speed so for that there is a mechanism where the speed is controlled in that way that we are running at a constant speed but changing the loads so how it is getting done so for this purpose only these are two terms TNR and TNH. So let's say your machine is running at 50 megawatt load and your machine is starting a signal that load is increasing. So how the load is increasing it your machine will get that signal that your resistance electrical resistance or load on that generator is increasing so your speed will start reducing but that is the tnh which is started reducing that actual speed at the same time your machine will sense okay my tnh is going down then 
I have to increase my TNR to maintain the same speed so that extra fuel can be pumped in so that my machine runs on a stable load or with a stable speed which is same as the grid frequency. So here uh, if you understand so let's say you have to maintain a 50 hertz frequency if your machine is running at 3000 rpm at 50 megawatt load and let's say you got a load of 10 megawatt additional load so your speeds will start reducing at that time your TNR would increase TNR would increase then TNH is actual speed the difference between two will increase the delta between TNR and TNH will increase so as the delta between TNR and TNH is increasing that signal goes to FSR the fuel stroke reference and the FSR increases to maintain the speed so this is how the overall uh, system of TNH and TNR which is going to control your fuel to the machine so you see here uh, the TNR is the speed reference and TNH is the actual speed and these two are uh, going in a control block where delta or error signal is getting calculated now your error signal is passing through a block where it is checking that in which control mode this machine is operating whether it is a droop mode or a synchronous mode so I will explain a droop and asynchronous also maybe in the next uh, video so if the droop mode is on it will check that okay my uh, droop mode is selected so uh, then this signal will further pass on and it will check my machine has already reached FSNL or not. So if these three signals are checked and then based on this calculation the fuel stroke reference will be decided and increment of fuel whether increment or decrement of the fuel based on the difference of this let's say your TNR is more and TNH is less then to match that TNR positive fuel has to positive increment has to be done and let's say your TNR is less and TNH is high which happens in the case of deloading of machine so similarly reduction in fuel stroke will be sent out so that is how the basic fundamental of TNR and TNH through which your fuel stroke reference is controlled and sent to the machine we will very briefly cover what is true so droop is a kind of control mechanism where you are running in a uh, in um, in a system where you are connected with grid and you cannot you don't have an option to maintain your own speed because you are connected with a grid you need to follow the same speed then what happens droop is a mechanism where your 4% or 5% droop setting is there that means your machine if, if it is on FSNL and if has to reach to base load then the 4% of speed reduction is allowed means from no load condition to full load that 4% speed drop is only permitted and same happens while uh, reducing from base load to no load so that is one number based on that uh, your speed TNR and TNH is calculated and based on your fuel is uh, calculated let us compare two situation where there are two machines just imagine it will give you a sense of understanding let's say one machine is with 104% droop and another with 110% droop oh, sorry 4% droop and 10% droop machine A is having 4% droop and you are loading that machine from uh, no load to full load so obviously if the load on machine is increasing the speed of the machine is bound to reduce because you are putting the higher and higher restriction on uh, the spinning of machine so reduction in speed is obvious and you are allowing 
the reduction to be only in 4% of the total speed. So as the speed is reducing, your machine is pumping more and more fuel because only 4% is permitted. And let's compare with a machine with 5% row or 10% row. So although 10% is not there, I am taking just imaginary number to explain. So for B machine, if the 10% is true, so your speed has a margin to reduce by 10%. Let's say you are running at 1000 RPM. So you have a margin to go up to 900 RPM. So your pumping of fuel will be relatively low. So that you are uh, okay, you are able to maintain that uh, uh, speed as well. So you compare uh, similarly for your 4% and 5% of droop. With a higher droop number setting, the response time to pick up the required speed will be low. So there are uh, grid uh, guidelines available based on that you need to set those droop numbers and whether you are running on droop or asynchronous mode that is also one uh, point which to be discussed like if you are running let's say only one uh, gas turbine is there and you are running on a one compressor or a one uh, turbine where you don't uh, have any connection to the outside world or the grid so you can operate in asynchronous mode also where your speed is fixed and at that speed there is if there is a load plus or minus the load is changing not the speed so this droop and uh, asynchronous is also a detailed topic which we will try to cover in the next video in this video we are just covering that uh, tnr and tnh and how these two tnr and tnh are affected and governing the fuel flow hope i have uh, made clear a basic concept on TNR which is turbine speed reference and TNH which is turbine speed actual yeah thank you uh, and if you have any question you can ask me in comment section and like previous I have received many uh, comments for creating different topics for video like this was one topic where I have received comment and I created the video on TNR and TNH you can subscribe my channel and uh, ask any question in the comment section also. Thank you very much.